Hello guys, um, Tim here today for a Monotype Monday. I am up to my uh, fire team, and today I have decided to um, run a live. I just woke up this morning and was like, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna uh, roll with the live here today. So I'm um, gonna lead off with my turquoise to um, set up rocks. Now it would be terrible if this person decided to set up bulk ups with his galleyed, because then that could be a potential problem. But that's not going to be the case. So um, he's going to bring in the uh, Sigalif. I'm just going to go ahead and explode. Because we uh, definitely don't want to deal with this uh, cosmic power, stored power um, shenanigans of Sigalith right now. So I'm going to switch into my Nine Tails. And, uh, okay, you're going to roost. I'm going to go for a nasty plot so I can get more power. Okay, we're still only doing about 50%. I'm gonna go ahead and go for another nasty plot, predicting another roost. See if times three in the sun is enough. Still not enough. Alright, well, I got it now. Now I got him. Times three flamethrower is gonna do 29%. So, that's a big threat. And um Sigalef gone. And I wonder if my nine tails can sweep from here at times three. No. And he does hold the dream punch. Alright. And shadow sneak for priority. That's a, that's smart. That's a smart Gallade. I do have Air Slash, which can hopefully kill from this range. Okay. Switch into the slow bro, which isn't a problem because I do have Solar Beam. Oh, all this switching. What's Jirachi gonna do? Jirachi is a pain. Hopefully I outspeed. I think I naturally outspeed it. Let's see. Nope. But Flamethrower in the Sun is going to kill a Jirachi, so... Jirachi is down now, too, as well. Now we have this Gallade, which I can Air Slash. Hopefully I don't miss. Oh, it's not enough anyway. No, two's going to be enough. That's for sure. Shadow Sneak, wow. Hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the uh, heat tram. And, um. Toxic, this guy. Oh, wow, he's gonna get the crit. Crit Dream Punch. Um, I think that crit mattered. I don't normally see a uh, he try and get O code like that, especially without the Gallade even setting up anything. Wow, two crits in a row. That's something. I'm switching into my Volcarona. Hopefully, I'll get a burn off on this thing or something. Yes! Got the burn. I am going to go ahead and set up a quiver dance. Since the Gallade is going to uh, die from burn on the next turn. So now we have uh, 
Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get the fake out here. No doubt about that. Maybe I'll get another burn off. Oh, it's not gonna have the fake out priority. That's weird. Normally, I expect the fake out from the Metacham, but I guess uh, that was a no go. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure my Volcarona is gonna be able to sweep from here now. Yep, got the fiery dance off on the Metagross, and then I can either um, yep, Giga Drain or Quiver Dance, uh, Giga, ah, Giga Drain or Bug Buzz on the um Slowbro. And my um, opponent uh, did realize that and forfeited the battle. So um, we will go ahead and um, look for another one, which we do right away. And look, we got a <laughs> we got grass this time. So um, I do have the um, type advantage. I just misclicked. And collect the rapid spin instead of stealth rock. Wow. As Trav goes for the leap seed, which he goes for it again. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get that sun up. And, uh, yeah, Ferrothorn's not living a step flamethrower in the sun. And, uh, we got another forfeit here because this kid knows that his grass team has no chance against my fire team. So we will look for a third battle. Okay, finally, I don't have a type advantage. And we are up against Dark. Looking at this team, I see, uh, walls in, um, Sableye and Mandibus. Hopefully this kid does not taunt me because I want rocks up for that Mandibus. Okay, that works perfectly fine for me. I'm going to go ahead and go for an explosion because the water move is coming and I am sashed. And explosion is going to Oko Greninja, which is wonderful. Now I'm going to get my son up. Oh, lordy. Now we got the Mandibuzz. Yeah. Oh, missing the Toxic. Let's see. We did 39% the first time. I could predict a roost and go for a nasty plot. And then just go for the flamethrower after that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yes. Okay. Now, flamethrower will be enough to kill. Definitely. Alright, so, um, we got one of the walls down, uh, five turns into the battle, which is always good to, uh, get rid of Mandibuzz as soon as possible. Now we have a Houndoom, which we do have HP ground for. It's going to live on 5%, but die from solar beam from the, uh, die from solar power, since we are in the sun. Now we got the stable eye. Got one turn of sun left. See how much times two in the sun flamethrower does to stable eye. Or I can get out sped. Interesting. Well, either way, we're going into uh, the Charizard, and we're going to go for a flamethrower. Just to see how much that does to the Mandibuzz. To the, wow, Sableye. Oh, it's Zoroark. That's probably why I was outspat Scarf Zoroark. We're going to go ahead and go for the Air Slash on the Scrafty, which is going to kill. And now we are only down to, um, Sableye.
Okay, kid, are you going to bring in your stable eye, or are we going to have to wait? Wait, Okay, there we go. Sableye is in. And Flamethrower, it is going to live on 1%. And, um... Then, we are going to be able to definitely kill... Oh, you're gonna just... Be that person that's gonna protect and then probably recover. Just... To make the battle to move two turns longer. So anyway, that is um going to be it for uh this live session. I hope you enjoyed the um two battles that I had. And until um until next time, good luck, have fun, and be safe.